This YouTube channel mainly uploads general knowledge quiz shorts. You can see from the socialplay.com that it is making around $694 to $11,000 every month which shows the potential of such channels. Let us take a look at the type of the videos they create. If you watch one of their videos, you will see a simple way they create YouTube shorts. A light year is a unit of distance. The shape of our Milky Way galaxy is Spiral. You have noticed that they use simple text, simple animation, short timers and their own voiceovers to create YouTube shorts quickly. Now the question is, can we create similar short videos in bulk using AI tools and automation tools? The answer is yes, we can definitely create such videos with the help of AI and automation tools. The tools will handle everything including creating shorts, voiceover, the title, the description and publishing. Once we create the videos, the videos will automatically get published in bulk on YouTube. You won't have to worry about creating description or anything else let me show you the blueprint before i start the video so that you can understand how everything will work using ai and automation tools let's get started so this is our automation blueprint the first step is to get content from bing chat for our videos then the content data will be transferred to google sheet in a proper format next the text from google sheet will be converted to voiceover using descript descript is an ai text to speech converter after that the voiceover will go to canva again from google sheets all the text will be directly go to canva in canva we will create multiple videos in bulk which will be uploaded to google drive then we will go to buffer to schedule our videos the reason i will be using buffer because it is very accessible and we can easily track our video uploads then again we will use chat gpt to create description and title in few clicks let's get started with the process to open bing chat go to www.bing.com and click on chat the reason i am using bing chat instead of chat gpt because it uses advanced gpt4 model and provides real-time information once you are in bing chat select the option more creative rather than more precise or more balanced because we want the chat to be creative and original here what we'll do the next i already have a prompt ready which i will share in the video description this prompt will help us create a table with six columns containing 50 questions on many topics like chemistry biology physics and mathematics the question will be neither too hard or too easy the first column will hold the questions while the next four columns will have the corresponding optional answers the last column will contain the correct answers Let's proceed by entering the prompt and generating the table. After pasting it, I will hit enter to run the prompt and see how it works. As you can see, it starts generating the table for us. After waiting for a moment, the table is generated as we want it. But as you can see, it stops after generating a few questions. To continue generating the table, we simply need to type continue and hit enter, which will prompt it to generate another table. It started generating another table. We will repeat this process until we have 50 questions and answers. Once we have several tables we will copy the first table and open google sheet and we will paste it there now after the third table is generated we will click on this copy icon to copy the first table then we will go to google sheets now we will open a blank google spreadsheet i will name it content or whatever right then i will paste the copy text in the spreadsheet now i will arrange the content accordingly and remove the additional text on the top this way we will have all the tables ready in the google sheet this way i will continue to create a table and arrange the content in proper format once i'm done with this i will move to the second step all right now you can see that i have arranged all the text right i have taken all the text from three tables and we have total of 17 questions you can generate as many as 50 100 or 200 questions right it is not restricted up to here only so let me explain what we will do next here are the questions followed by options a b c and d and the final answer is provided as well now we will input all this text into descript and canva separately First First, we will need to arrange the text in format of a desk script and its format should be like a video script or audio script. We will copy all this data and paste it into Google Documents to format it properly. Then we will enter the formatted data into desk script and we will get the voiceover for our short videos. After that, we will download this spreadsheet in CSV format and then we will upload the spreadsheet to Canva to generate videos. Let's get started. First, I will copy the text from here up to question 17. Now I will open a new tab and go to Google Docs. Once 
this there i will create a new blank document name it content next i will paste the text format it to look like a audio script for the voiceover now instead of doing the task manually like formatting the script we will use chat gpt we will start with a prompt let me paste it i am going to use this prompt it will regenerate the content from the text box in this format first it will take question from every line followed by answer option then a countdown the answer to each question is the last word of the each line now let's see how it works we will select and copy all the text and go to chat gpt and paste it in the chat bar after hitting enter it will start working just as we wanted like a script we will then paste it in the script right one thing i forgot to mention in the prompt is that we will iterate this process for every line it encounters in the text box and we are going to tell chat gpt that not to include option 5 we need only up to option 4 because it can make mistakes right once chat gpt generate the scripts we'll copy it and go to desk script if you do not have a desk script account you know you can create one using the link in the description if you need help on how to use desk script i already have videos in my channel explaining about it to start creating the voiceover click on new project in desk script then click on start writing then i will name the project and paste the copied text after that i'll remove the quotation mark from the top and the bottom now i will choose a speaker like ethan and then i will choose preferred format i will go with the format 3 which is a moderate speed voiceover now as you can see it's downloading and once ready we will listen to the voiceover let's wait for some moment now after waiting for a minute the script has created the voiceover let's listen and see how it goes let me play it here what is the chemical formula of water 1 h2o 2 co2 3 o2 4 ch4 1 2 3 the answer for the question is h2o what is the name of the largest bone in the human body? 1. Femur 2. Humerus 3. Tibia 4. Pelvis 1. 2. 3. The answer for the question is femur. What so as you can see that we have our voiceover and that's what we wanted. If you want to change the speaker of the voiceover, you can do so by selecting a different stock voice or even upload your own voice. The timer here indicates the countdown. Now we are done with our discrete voiceover. Let's download it and move on to the third step. To download it, click on publish and then go to export and then click on export save it in the download section you can open it and listen to it or proceed to the third step which is creating shots using canva let's move on to the third step to open canva simply go to canva.com after opening canva you will need a pro account as we need to create shots in bulk and for that we need some pro features if you don't have the resources to purchase a canva pro account you can try its free trial you can also find a link in the video description for a lower priced option along with the other tools now let's talk about the creating videos you can click on create design to get started but here i will go with clicking videos now from here you can choose either an instagram or tiktok video format for example i will go with tiktok video as it has the same size as youtube shorts the editor is open now on the left side you will find templates for your video you can choose any template based on your niche since i have already created a video template last night okay this is the one which i will link in video description now let me give you a step-by-step -step explanation of how i created this template first you notice the question in the template this is a placeholder for all these questions in this content page these questions will automatically appear in the respective shots when they will be created in bulk next there are four options which are placeholder for all the options in the content page lastly the answer on the left will remain same for every video we will not change this one but the answer on the right side is is a placeholder for all the answers in the content page the goal is to automate this process to generate multiple youtube shots in bulk now let's explain the timing of each text in the video for example if you click on the questions and click on the three dots then click on show timing to see the duration it shows that the questions will be visible throughout the video with the voiceover for the option text similarly we'll click on the three dots and then click on show timing we see that option one appears after a few seconds now let's play the video and see the timing of the text in the video So as you have seen the questions appear first, then the options and finally the answers. We are doing this way because these are quiz questions so they should always be shown at the end. I hope you got that. To make sure the video is perfect, you have to just adjust the timing accordingly. Now with the template setup and timing adjusted, we will go to Google Sheets and download the CSV file. Alright, let's open Google Sheet and to download all the question as CSV file, you can click on file then choose download. Save it as CSV file. Once that done, let's go back to Canva and head to the app section. In the apps, search for bulk. You will find 
bulk create there these applications allows you to create shots in bulk now you have two options you can manually enter data or upload the csv file we just downloaded let's choose the upload csv option click on upload csv and select the file we just downloaded now that the questions answered and options are all here okay and we need to connect these data with the corresponding questions answer and options in the editor for our video to do that click on the question in the short video then click on the three dots choose connect data and select question from the options now question is connected and which is indicated by the purple tick on the left side next we will connect data like option 1 to option a option 2 to option b option 3 to option c and option 4 to option d lastly we connect the answer with the corresponding answer but remember that we won't change the left side answer only the right side answer so click on the right side answer click on three dots choose the connect data and select the answer from the csv data now once everything is connected you will see that all data is linked now it's time to generate the short videos then i'll click on continue you will see that 17 question displayed again i will click on generate 17 pages this will take you to a next page with a bulk of short videos now you can see that the short videos being created we have total of 17 shots here all right let's review short video and see how they're created you can see each one to see you know how the text are generated make sure that they don't overlap with each other now carefully watch out for that now we will move on to the audio clip that is a voiceover we initially uploaded the file and place it on the timeline this audio file that is a voiceover will extend throughout the clips let's proceed now we will extend this voiceover for the all the short videos so you need to extend it accordingly now we will play the video to determine where we need to make the cuts in the audio we need to synchronize the audio file with the video CO2, 3, O2, 4, CH4, 1, 2, the first one looks good. We will make a cut at the end of this video. Let's play the second video. The answer for the question is femur. What is the unit of force? It's look fine too. However, I can see that we need to trim the second video because the voiceover for the third video aligns with the end of the second one. So we need to fix that. We will trim it and adjust it accordingly. After trimming, if you play it, you can see the changes. Uh, there is one thing to note in the second question of the video, the answer was mentioned, but the answer text on the left side did not appear along with the voiceover timing. We already adjusted the timing of answers, but we need to fix this one. We will click on the answer, then on the three dots and adjust the timing so that it synchronizes with the voiceover again we see that the answer for the question did not appear on time so we will adjust these two so that it synchronizes with the voiceover we will repeat the same process for the third video as the voiceover for the fourth video overlaps with it now i will make a cut in the first voiceover of the first video after making the necessary cuts and adjustment for all the videos we will have everything set now i will complete this task behind the scene and i will return and show you what i did now you can see that i have adjusted the clips i created several clips and made some cuts in the audio the length of videos here are not same because i aligned the voiceover of the different timings with the video so some are long some are short okay now let us bring these left aligned text to the middle and increase their size let me show you how to edit the text we can select the text and bring it to the middle using the alignment feature after that we can increase the text size after increasing the text size that you can see that the text are overlapping so i will adjust the gaps between the text you can customize the size of the text text as needed once it is done you can do the same for every page now let's move on to adding the background music we will use a copyright free music tool called music lm by google you can create a free account if you don't have one i will log in with my google account in the prompt bar i will write smooth beats or any type of music you prefer then i will click here to generate the music when the music is generated you can click here to play and listen to it after that we will download it and upload it to canva then i will decrease the music volume to 10 on the timeline then we will duplicate the music for each each video by clicking ctrl plus d and adjust its length accordingly now the background music is set for the clips you can repeat this process for all the clips finally you can upload all the files to google drive or you can simply download them that's it for this step now we will move to the next step that is uploading the file to google drive to upload the file to google drive click on share button then click on more here next scroll down and click on google drive after that select connect google drive now you will need to sign in with your google account and give it permission you can allow it 
after that you will see that my google account is already connected to another canva account so i am unable to connect it again but i hope that you can do it because your account will be a new one and not already connected and make sure that your account is not already connected so this is why we will download the files directly to our file manager then from there we will upload the files to google drive to do this you can click on share button again and then select download after clicking on download you will need to download all the pages as separate files which requires a pro account so make sure to check and download these pages as separate files once you click on download the files will be downloaded in a zip file we will wait for a moment to allow it to download now you can see that the folder containing all the files has started downloading and it's in a zip format let's wait for it to finish downloading and then we will proceed to upload this file to google drive we have waited for a moment and now after a while you can see that our folder with shorts is downloaded to our file manager and it's a zip file so we need to extract it first we will select the file then click on three dots and choose extract all now click on extract to begin the process you can see that it's extracting now so the file has been extracted and we can proceed to upload this file directly to google drive let's head to google drive and begin the upload so as you can see the next step on google drive so what we are going to do is a drag and drop the folder here let's do it now as you can see the folder is uploading so we will come right back after the folder is uploaded now after some time you can see that the video folder is uploaded and you can see that the upload is complete in the next step we will open buffer.com so now we will open a new tab and go to buffer.com once the tool is open you can see that from here you can schedule your youtube shots the reason i have chosen buffer because it allows you to easily schedule your youtube shots with the help of a calendar you can choose dates and do all the tasks from one place if you don't have an account you can create one by clicking on get started now since i already have an account i will click on login now i am on buffer dashboard with my connected youtube channel if you do not have any channels connected click on add channel and select youtube to connect your channel after you connected your youtube channel next go to the calendar without clicking anywhere else from here you can schedule your videos at any time you want now let's schedule our first video the day i was making the video was wednesday and time was 11 am so if i click on this plus icon then you can see that we can upload a shot with the auto schedule time of 11 13 am in the description we have two hashtags and i will remove one of them because it is irrelevant now to upload upload a video you can click here or simply drag and drop a file since we already have uploaded the videos to google drive so we will click on this google drive icon if your google drive account is not connected with buffer then you can you know then you need to connect it you can also connect your dropbox onedrive and google photos accounts so when i click on google drive icon you can see all the files from google drive i will open this bulk content folder and then we can see that we have all the videos we uploaded few moments back from here i will upload the video number two now you can see that our video has started uploading next we need to generate titles for every video we upload here to get the titles for the videos we will go to google docs content page where we initially pasted the content for our shots here we are going to use this prompt the given lines of sentences and these are the given sentences right in the text box and this is the text box that contain all the lines our short youtube videos write a prompt for each line in the text box with a delimer hashtag shorts in each title then we will copy all the text in including the prompt and directly go to chat gpt and paste them into a new chat bar after generating the titles you can paste them into an excel sheet or whatever you prefer i will simply paste them into the same google document then i will copy the second title and come back to buffer now in the title bar i will paste the title from the category we will select science and technology and the other stuff here is all right you can click here to ready to schedule the post for any other desired date and time with buffer you can easily automate this process and you can see all all your schedule post and in one place you can write a description if you prefer now i will click on schedule to schedule the post once the post is scheduled you can see that we are back to calendar and you can see that this is where our shot is published now let's publish another shot i will click on the plus icon below this shot again i will select video from google drive again copy the title from the google docs and paste it here then i will again click on schedule post and you can see that our video upload is scheduled you have noticed that it takes so less time with buffer to do the task if you follow this way then you can make your work done in 15 minutes now let me show you all the videos that i have uploaded okay now you can see that these are all the videos that i have uploaded right only three videos that you can see here when you will upload and the videos it will come here automatically okay you don't have to look it up right whether it's coming to youtube or not but it will come because you have connected your youtube channel right these all videos were just to you know created to showcase you you can edit the video template and make it more beautiful on your requirement this can save a lot of your time right you know scheduling the post and creating many videos you can 
use the same template key. So that's all for today. Till then, bye bye. See you in the next video.